Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my kitchen. It's been such a long time and I wanted to share a recipe with you that involves using up everything you have in your fridge. So if you're like me and by the end of the week you've got just like a random courgette, an aubergine, some spinach, half, half a box of mushrooms here, like that you just want a recipe, well I know I do, that uses up everything in one go, that's also tasty and not boring. So I thought I'd show you one that I've been doing and it's been turning out really, really nice. So yeah, let's have a little cook along, shall we? Step number one is that if you have got any potatoes for this, they are gonna be laid on the very top of what we're making. Let's call it a vegetable jumble, shall we? A little hot pot. First things first, I'm gonna parboil some potatoes that I've got here because they're gonna be going on the top of this hot pot and I want them to cook really quickly in the oven. Uh, I just want it to be a case of like browning them and browning the cheese that I sprinkle over it. So they are gonna be parboiling now. And if you see me do anything on my phone, it's because I'm also gonna try and record this for Instagram. I'm gonna preheat my oven whilst we're here and I am going to put it on 180. If you've got an aubergine, like I did, you might want to stick that in. I've just done it before filming and I've just literally seasoned it. Salt, pepper, a bit of olive oil, stuck it in there 20 minutes and that means that's soft, ready to go into my, into my main dish. Uh, if you've got anything else that just tastes kind of long on the hob, Stick it in the oven with the aubergine, if you're using aubergine. All we're gonna do is have our potatoes pre parboiling, learn how to use our hob layer. There's a setting I can do that gets it to go in the middle rather than all the way down here and all the way up there. So it sort of hovers over the both of them. A little bit of olive oil. Sorry if you can hear the hob, it's kind of loud today. I've got a red onion and a white onion. So I'm gonna be throwing both of those in. And then shortly after that, I'm just gonna be chopping up courgette, pepper, and sticking them in as well. Also got half a punnet of mushrooms here. So, I'm really excited for this. Okay, it's kind of hot. Stick the onions in. Maybe the pan could have been a little bit hotter, but it's okay, just sweat off these onions. You don't have to use both a red and a white onion, it's just something I wanted to do. Okay, so just sweating off these onions. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna add in the mushrooms now. Just let those soften as well. Turn that down, that was a mistake. If you've got any Italian herbs, add those now. I'm gonna go and get my oregano and some other Italian herbs. Obviously, if you've got fresh herbs, great, then use those. Coriander, parsley, whatever you've got. Or you can just stick it in at the end. Potatoes are parboiling. Now, whilst that's happening, we're just gonna chop up a courgette, a pepper, two peppers, whatever you've got, just anything in your fridge. I'm just someone who buys a lot of veg at the start of every week, so I've always got quite a lot of stuff left over. Find my chopping offensive. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh, feeling hot, hot, hot. Ah. Sometimes there's just nothing to say because you're trying to focus on everything. I think TV chefs are very, very good at talking and like chopping and stuff because you're thinking about like what you need to do next. I think the trick is to actually prep all the veg before you even start filming. We live and we learn, my friends. We live and we learn. If you wanted to be really particular about it, you could probably wash all of these seeds off the pepper. And in fact, I, I might do that. Can I be bothered? You know what, no. I'm gonna throw them in. And on the last one, starting to see like a little bit more color in the pan now, which is nice. That is what we want. We want a really colorful dish. I think if I ever released a book, it would be called Cooking with Color, if that's not already been invented. I completely forgot to add my stock cube, so I'm gonna add that now. Never too late for a bit of stock. Squish that in. Okay, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Some mustard, a big dollop of mustard. I really like this Dijon one. It's not too um, intense. Quite a lot though. Oh, that's getting in my eyes. Maybe it is more intense than I thought. 
Okay, I'm gonna add my aubergine from earlier, using my knife to like get it up off the foil. So I didn't put that much oil on it. Hopefully no foil went in. Let's check on my potatoes. Yeah, they're looking really good. See if they are parboiled. Yeah, I can switch those off, I think. So I'm gonna add a drop of cider vinegar just because I quite like it. Just a drop. If you haven't got any of these things, it's absolutely fine. Just use whatever you do have. As long as you think like, yeah, that could taste nice. <laughs> Don't add soy sauce, unless you really want to. So I'm gonna cook these veggies off for a little bit longer. I've just seen here that I didn't use my courge yet. So I'm gonna quickly chop that up really small and get that in. And then we're gonna bang in all that spinach. Courgette cooks quite quickly anyway, so it's not going to be too much of an issue that that's gone in late. If you've got foil, I've got some foil that I used to cook my aubergine on. I'm just going to cover the pan a little bit just to help these veggies cook a little bit quicker. And if your pan is looking really dry, you can add more liquid, you could add a drop more oil if you want. If you're using a stock cube that's not gooey, like the powdered ones, then you would have needed to add water anyway. Obviously I'm loving the stock pots that don't need any water because I just find it's just so much better. Okay, so at the moment I've got everything in except the spinach. The spinach is gonna go in at the end because it would just melt down uh, really, really quickly. Okay, so just adding my lentils, making sure I get everything out and I'm gonna let that sit again under the foil. In fact, I might add the spinach now just to let it all shrink down because I'm a bit short on time. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually gonna be doing yoga in like 20, 10, well, six minutes. So I wanna make sure to get all of it. I think the good thing about like using spinach that looks like it's about to go off, like you can see this one here, it is starting to go a bit off. But once it's in the recipe, it just, goes like that anyway so you can't really tell and it tastes absolutely fine like I've never tasted spinach in a recipe and thought that doesn't taste right um, but if it was really off obviously don't use it but I always think to myself what's the worst that can happen with eating a gone off veg like it really can't go that wrong can it you can just you know just think oh that doesn't taste very nice whereas if you eat gone off meat or fish you're in trouble so basically the next thing I'm going to be doing once that spinach melted down is I'm going to be sticking the whole of that mixture along the bottom of here. Then I'm going to take the potatoes that are in here. I'm just going to just lay them on top. Grate a little bit of cheese from my fridge over the top and bang it in the oven. And honestly, mwah, I've been doing this like once every week or every two weeks. And I just, I love resetting the house and just being like everything's used onto the next. Okay, this spinach is taking a little while to go down. So... I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Meanwhile, let's see how my potatoes look. Yeah. I'm gonna um, drain out my potatoes and get them ready to lay on top. Just put my sieve away, so I need that again. If you put that in a dishwasher, get it back out. Pat, pat, pat. Ooh. Ha, ha. There's gotta be a better way. There has to be. Just so hot. So here are my parboiled potatoes, looking really good. They're gonna be even better when they've got cheese all over them. I'll tell you that for free. I just think the crazy thing with spinach is it just disappears. Like, where does it go? It's just gone from a mountain to that. It's now time to move the spinach to the... Oh, that was such a close one, I caught my camera. So we're just simply gonna transfer all of this mixture into this dish. I could probably even use a bigger dish, but I don't have that many potatoes, so that's heavy. The more veg you have, obviously the more full this is gonna be. Sometimes when I haven't actually got that much veg, it's kind of shallow, but then you just do more potato or you do mashed potato, however you want it really. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna add the potatoes on top. The way I'm laying them out reminds me of Dauphinois potatoes, but I'm pretty sure they've got like cream all over them, so it's not that. But it's just the layout that reminds me it's similar. See, I might have excess potatoes by the time I'm done doing this, because I can kind of tell 
from what's in here that I'm going to have some left over. But we can just layer up a bit more. Not a big deal. Now it's cheese time. Get your cheese. Oh, and I'm only five minutes late for my class. Grate it on top. Grate your cheese. Go absolutely mental. I'm going to stick that in the oven and I'll show it you when it's done. But I'm going to leave it a little while because I'm going to my class. One hour later. Okay, so I've had a bit of a clean and tidy up in the kitchen. Everything's in the dishwasher, everything's been washed down. Look how nice and clean and tidy this looks. So the food's in the oven, but what I've done is I've just changed it over to the grill setting just to make the cheese go a little bit brown on top. However, when the grill is on, I feel like the moment you take your eyes off it, it's too late. So yeah, I've put it on a medium setting grill rather than high. I will keep my eyes on that and I will show you the final result shortly. Okay guys, I've got the double angle going on here. So I'm about to take the food out of the oven and I thought I'd switch it on here so you can see the result. Got my lovely mitts. And <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. I, I did switch the grill on, so. Woo. Looks really good. Stunning. Thrilled with that, yes. Oh, and now I need to do one of those like tap to cook moments on Instagram. BTS where she bosses me about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video everyone. I just finished eating and I completely forgot to um, show you a shot of us uh, enjoying the food but it did taste absolutely delicious. Act, what did you think? Yeah, it was really nice, thank you. No worries. Don't forget you can subscribe to my channel for more recipes. Check out the ingredients listed below, the method, click on my blog. I've posted everything on there and I will see you guys in the next one. Do let me know if you've made it in the comments and DMs on Instagram. I love it when you guys tag me saying you've made a recipe. It just makes it feel amazing. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. When I dance alone and the sun's bleeding down, blame it on me. And when I lose control and the veil's overused, blame it on me.